This right here is the future of action cameras. It's the Insta360 Ace Pro, and we're gonna see how well it performs as a vlogging camera on and off the motorcycle. The Insta360 Ace Pro has been developed in collaboration with industry leaders Leica. It delivers exceptional imaging capabilities featuring an elite 1 1.3 inch sensor, a premium Leica Samarit lens, and a five nanometer AI chip. In the box, it comes with a battery that charges from zero to 80% in just 22 minutes, with around about 100 minutes of runtime from a full charge. It comes with a flexible adhesive mount, the standard mount, and a Type-C cable. Let's see what this thing can do. So this setup's quite elaborate. I'm using the DJI mic, so because I'm using the DJI mic, I have a receiver, and for the receiver, I need a cold shoe mount. For the cold shoe mount, I need the quick release adapter. And then of course the, the mic adapter, this guy, the mic adapter as well. But you can plug in a microphone that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. So any microphone you want, you can stick it in there, stick it into your helmet. Purple Panda works perfectly. That's a cool setup. So I'm just plugging this into the, the quad lock charger here, just to show you something. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, it's turned off. Now yeah, I'm gonna turn the key on. Now it's powered on and it started rolling automatically and it's on loop record. So this acts as a dash cam as well. I think that's really clever. You can turn that off as well. Um, it's just a little setting, uh, but yeah, really cool little feature. And this is Insta360's preview remote. So from here, you can see exactly what you're shooting at very low latency. When you hit the record button at the top, you start recording. You start recording extremely fast connectivity. You can change all your settings, all your frame rates and everything. Do whatever you gotta do. It vibrates as well, and that is not the best bit. Check this out. So instead of pulling this whole rubbery thing off, you can just release the module, and you can wear it as a watch, so you can still use it as a preview, or it actually tells the time. That's pretty incredible. And this maps out all your GPS as well, so you can have all your, all your cool tracks and tells you how fast you're going. GPS tracking information is also available when using the Apple Watch or Garmin devices. Now entering vlog mode, the back screen flicks up so you can see yourself super clearly, much like the Go 3. It has face tracking now, so there's a square box that pops around your face and that exposes correctly, so you're not gonna be underexposed or overexposed on your face anymore. And it also uses that information for gestures. So I'm just gonna raise my hand up. That's start recording, and then you just do the exact same and that stops recording. And it has very, very good voice control as well. Start recording. Stop recording. It's too easy, it's too good, come on. Okay, I know it's gonna be pretty hard here because it's a tiny screen, but it does have a function called clarity zoom. So I'm rolling right now on here. All you have to do is double tap the screen. And it'll zoom in without affecting the image quality or resolution. With the Ace Pro being able to shoot up to 8K, zooming in while shooting at 4K is essentially cropping in on the 8K resolution. I used this function a lot while I was in Italy. It seemed second nature to me. Double tap the screen, that's what you do on your phones and stuff as well. It zooms in, um, but there's no digital crop or anything like that. So you still get all that 4K resolution, which is incredible. Pause recording is another function that they've added in here. Mojo, come around here a little bit. I'm gonna need you in frame nice and tight. Can you see the screen okay? So there's that little pause there, if I hit that, that pauses the recording until I hit play again. Now the good thing about this is that if there's a car coming and you don't want to hit record again because that'll create a new file, all you have to do now is just press pause, wait for that car or whatever to go past and then you just tap it again and you resume recording. And now that'll just cut out that section almost like you've just made a clean cut in the camera itself. So you've already cut out that horrible footage. Cancel recording is another function that they've added. So let's just say you've just pulled up to a set of lights, you just hit record, you're spewing, you're sitting there, you're like, damn it, all this, all this footage for no reason at all. All you have to do now is press and hold the record button and that'll delete that whole last file. So you don't have to worry about going back in there, deleting the footage and then, you know, messing around all the time. You just know that that's gone. You don't have to worry about it. You're not gonna use up your precious memory. It's all sorted. So I'm just going into the settings. I'm gonna get some slow motion B-roll. Um, and this shoots at 4K 120 frames. It's pretty good for an action camera. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set it to linear so that it flattens out the image a little bit and it doesn't look like a fisheye. So 
So while I was cruising around in Milan, um, I actually went to Lake Como and it was incredible. I took this with me and it has a feature, it's called AI Highlights. AI automatically chooses interesting points along your ride or whatever you're using this for. So for me, I was riding around some mountains, I pulled over and just looked at the scenery and that created an automatic highlight, me pulling over because it was a little bit different to the rest of the footage, which was really clever. Then from the camera, you can pick and choose which highlight you like. Either create separate clips or merge the clips together, then export to have a little snipped video straight from the camera. You can also manually punch in your highlights as well. All you need to do is hit the little power button while you're cruising and it'll start stacking them up. The in-app highlights feature was made unavailable to us during pre-testing, but it is made available now where you'll be able to edit all your highlights in the app. Now, ND filters for the Ace Pro are coming soon, but in the meantime, there is a feature in the app which allows you to apply fake motion blur to your footage. It's quite clever. Simply import your footage into the app and tap motion blur on or off. Obviously nothing is better than the real deal, but this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Just take note that for best results, the camera needs to be mounted to a solid surface. If you mount it to your helmet, the AI will get all confused and start blurring everything. ShotLab now has AI Warp. AI Warp allows you to create interesting AI videos from your own footage. Choose a video from your library, choose the theme and let AI do the rest. You can also brush in certain parts of your video for AI to do its thing, or even create your own custom vibe, or both. Okay, so we've seen some of the clever things that AI can do. Let's see what it can do for nighttime footage. Now this is some of the cleanest night footage from an action camera that I've ever come by. For comparison, I mounted a GoPro Hero 12 and an Osmo Action 4 and set all three cameras to auto. Now I understand that the GoPro Hero 12 and the Osmo Action 4 were mounted to my handlebars, they were getting a bit of vibration, maybe it made the image a little bit blurrier. So let's just take a close look at the quality of the image, the grain in particular. Even in a stationary position, you can see all the digital noise buzzing around the street lights. But here's the Ace Pro footage. One of the most impressive features of the Ace Pro's AI chip is its ability to denoise the footage as it's being processed to the SD card, which results in what you're seeing right now. Smooth, crispy night riding footage. We can now film our nighttime rides with pretty damn good quality. I'll be making an in-depth comparison between the Osmo Action 4 and the GoPro Hero 12, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on that. The Ace Pro retails for $729 Australian dollars, but if you're on a bit of a budget, they do have the little brother available, the half-inch sensor at $609 Australian dollars. If I have assisted you in any way in taking the leap into the future and purchasing an Ace Pro, please consider using my affiliate link in the description below where I receive a small kickback from every purchase at no extra cost to you. And it goes a long way in supporting me, supporting the channel. And I thank you very much for everybody that has done so in the past. It is greatly appreciated. So how do you make an action camera stand out from the rest? You stick an AI chip in it. That's exactly what Insta360 have done. With the style of camera that we're all familiar with, there's no doubt that Insta360 have just entered an extremely competitive market. In saying this, I feel that this leap in action camera technology is what we've all been waiting for. You just wait, others will start following suit. Thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.